DWM News, the work, the play, for life. Construction on the Department of Watershed Management South River Tunnel Project reached a major milestone recently as the tunnel bore machine hold through the last stretch of 9,000 feet of rock. Construction crews and project team members 160 feet underground cheered as the TBM burst through the rock at the Macon Drive site, marking the end of several months of excavation. City Project Manager Adaya Bond spoke about the tedious process of excavating rock and constructing the tunnel. We spent about a year sinking the construction shafts. These are the shafts that will give us a space to actually get the TBM parts into the tunnel. Um, so we drill every 10 foot of rock has to be drilled. We have to mark those, basically take the rock out and um, do that over and over until we get to the tunnel invert, which is about 150 feet below the ground level. Now that drilling and blasting of the tunnel is over, Derek Brennan, the tunnel manager for the contractor Gilbert Southern Corporation, says the focus now shifts to removing the TBM and reinforcing the 14-foot diameter tunnel with concrete. Start demobbing the uh, excavation equipment, uh, head frame, uh, all of our muck cars, and uh, we begin uh, pulling the, the tunnel boring machine out of the, out of the ground, and then we will uh, switch over to our concrete operations uh, where we'll line the, the, uh, the whole 9,000 feet of tunnel from uh, this shaft back to uh, the South River site. The South River Tunnel and Pump Station are being constructed as part of the city's sanitary sewer overflow program in the South River Basin. The new tunnel will collect flows from the existing sanitary sewers and transport flow to a newly constructed pump station at the South River Water Reclamation Center. This will alleviate surcharging in the system and increase sewer capacity. The consent decree deadline for the completion of the $115 million South River Tunnel and Pump Station is July 1, 2011. The South River Tunnel is one of three tunnel projects completed as part of the $4 billion Clean Water Atlanta program. These tunnels, along with the citywide sewer system evaluation survey and associated rehab of sewer lines, have decreased the volume of overflows by some 97 percent. For more information about the South River Tunnel or other projects, access our website at www.atlantawatershed.org. For DWM News, I'm William Horton.